Hey everyone, it's Ali, and I will be taking you guys to a supermarket in the UK. I currently live in Newcastle, uh, this area is South Tyneside, and I will be going to Asda because it's the closest one. I walk there because it's like just 10 minutes away. Um, you can see these boxes. I'm actually moving. I am, yes, I am moving, and uh, I'm moving to Norway. There is a ban on travelers going in there currently, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's take you. And also today is Sunday. On Sundays, even though uh, as it has a sign, I'll show you guys, it says it's open 24 hours. On Sundays, a lot of shops close at 4 p.m. due to some trading law that they have. And it's the same in a lot of countries where you're lucky if it's even open. Yeah, let's go. All right, as you can see, it's just 24 hours. Yeah, I mean, usually in America, it would have like a star because, you know, the asterisk. Yeah, it's 24 hours, but da, 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 da. here in the UK, they don't even give a flip about that. All right, so because Corona is happening, um, people might be stockpiling and stuff. I don't know how bad it is here because every single time I go shopping, I kind of just grab what is necessary so super interested to see what's here what's left um hopefully when i touch this i don't get sick um, seems like a normal amount of people but uh i think living in new york a lot of this stuff is actually really affordable i know in a lot of places there's things that are empty, but so far it's so good. I bet the vegetable section's probably gonna be super empty. Um, pizza's still good. I've seen um, people from different countries send me pictures of their empty places that don't have pizza. Um, I don't know if the Goodfellas are good. Um, there's Ristorante that's also looking... I don't know. It's 150 for a small one. I kind of, I kind of want to get this, but I don't think it's, it's not New York pizza for sure. <laughs> I might just get one. I feel like I need it. I have, I'm, I'm here until Wednesday afternoon. Hopefully, I get a, get on that flight. Um, yeah, the attitude here, <laughs> especially in Newcastle, I. My friend said that people are still going out and doing the same stuff. It's just people aren't shopping as much. Stroop waffles. These are my favorite brownies. They're so good. I love, 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 love these. I call these butterfly cookies, but they're really good. And I love these metal lines. I accidentally grabbed the chocolate ones. Chocolate ones aren't that bad, but... Oh, I can't help myself. I need to get one of these. Maybe I'll eat them on the flight. Because the British Airway flight to London and Lon and then the transfer to London to Oslo, you have to buy food from their online their service. I want to say online service, but it's like, um, <laughs> it's M&S stuff, but they sell it at their uh, little push cart in the airplane. There's like one of these that are my favorite, but the bread isn't expensive these are from the bakery the ones from the aisles with the uh, slices are a lot cheaper but there's like a chocolate one that's usually here but it's not here anymore um i don't know why people like tiger bread tiger bread gets really hard after you open it really quickly so i don't understand um yeah this section is full of stuff and it's like super cheap i think as is part of Walmart, but they don't have Walmarts here. But they, I guess they're all just called Asda. Two for three pounds. Jesus, you can eat all of this. See, I would get this if I had like a family, because this is probably easy clap to feed all the snackies. Then there's cookies, Maltesers, dairy milk. I like really, really miss having white chocolate macadamia, but I haven't been snacking as much. They have pound cake, but I think they call it something else. But yeah, these are fresh cakes. What are they called? I think like Madeira. Madeira loaf cake. Even though I, it's almost like pound cake. It's just missing 
that thick buttery taste. It's still buttery. But yeah, some of these breads are super cheap. I usually get these, um, not the hot dog ones. Um, I usually get these to put my hamburgers in, or even the sesame toast one, 69. Best price ever. Um, but yeah, bread is super cheap if it's available, <laughs> if it's there. But yeah, people aren't that crazy, I think. They're not that bad, 69, uh, 76p. Like in New York, you can get crappy bread, but it's like $3. Uh, I mean, I guess we have to remember, in, I lived in New York and LA, things are hella expensive. You do get higher pay, especially if you don't work retail, you work in corporate shit. <laughs> But here in the UK, I've noticed the the salary is a lot lower, but everything's cheaper to afford. But yeah, things are still in stock. I'm not surprised. I kind of want one of these. Hmm. So I've been grabbing this one a lot. I'll turn it around. The sea salt black uh, pepper. I'm gonna try this is chili and lemon parsley. That looks really good. So far so good. I think this should be good for Monday and Tuesday, maybe. I'm thinking about maybe getting salmon, because salmon I can do with. Um, but yeah, it's not as scary in this here than it is in America or Norway or other places. Uh, my friend's been posting. Things aren't that empty. Oh yeah, there's this one thing I really like. So it's really hard to get to like a Chinese supermarket. These Itsu dumplings are really good. Just follow the directions and super good. Hoping there's be less people, but it's Sunday, so and I don't want the place to be closed. I need to get stuff. Um, let's look at alcohol. I need alcohol. So here are some prices for beer. They actually have international beer. Some stuff. Um, Heinies. I kind of want one. I'm not big into getting these things. There's Sahi. There's actually a lot of stuff. Cobra. Prices aren't bad. Four for six pounds. Chorus. Stella. Um. What the hell? It's like the Brooklyn Brewery somewhere here. Oh, this box is attacking me. No. Mm. It is really good. I love girly drinks, but this rose from Kappa Berg is really good. Some people really like the raspberry or the strawberry and lime one. But I found it really sickly because it's super sugary. But there's a lot of interesting ciders to try. I actually like ciders that have apple infused. So those are really good. Super, super yummy. Strongbow dark fruit is also really good. Roll back. I guess people can drink a lot. There's a lot of mixers here. Alright, let's go to wine. I've tried cheap wine, I've had expensive wine, I've had box wine, dude, box wine. Um, I don't have a favorite, I just drink it. I mean, I can tell if it's like a very bitter, deep flavor, if it's a fruity, light one. But I feel like I tend to go towards Merlot. I don't know why I like this one a lot, but I don't know what the hell is the difference between like all these. All I know is this is like a lot cheaper. Oh, because one is Merlot and one is Shiraz. Cabre Sauvignon. I'll just get this one. I think I have my passport. <laughs> you need your ID here. The sanitizer section or the hand soap section is kind of scary. I don't know why it's all sold out. Like, there's none there for soap. They're actually really cheap. It just makes me wonder why people are hoarding these things or if people are actually washing their hands and now they decide to go get some stuff. 
that, that's hilarious. I think I need to get tampons because I heard, since I'm going to Norway, I've, I have heard tampons have been, uh, been sold out in stores and I wouldn't want to bleed or forced to learn how to use a cup again. And this one, these are super cute, small, can fit in my luggage. That could be good. Chips. Pringles are $2.50. They're actually too pricey, five for me right now. Except their rice fusion is like a pound fifty. But I really don't want that. Yeah, these fusions to me. There's, there's a peaking duck sauce. Oh, Malaysian curry. Indian tandoori masala. I think the, out of all of them, this one is the best. Everything else kind of tastes sickly to me. Um, I think I want a bag of chips. They usually, there's a whole section of individual bags, but I'm not staying here that long, so I need a bag. Hmm, should I get the mix up? Spicy. Actually, let's go with one of the mix-ups. I love bugles. Oh my god. This is gonna... This is just gonna die really fast. Yeah, there are some things that you guys don't have. Oh, also, Lay's walkers here. Jerk chicken. Smoked cheddar. Uh, what is this? And they're pop Papa Doms. Some of them are Papa Doms, if I can find the right one. There's Japanese wasabi ginger. Kettle chips, my favorite. Uh, I like lightly salted. There's also sweet potato and apple. Kind of want like a normal potato chip. Oh, there's tortilla chips over there, but I don't want tortilla. Kind of want just a potato chip. But I don't want it that crispy and crunchy that I guess I'll have to do that. Or, or get walkers. Hmm. Maybe I'll get walkers. Onion and cheese. I guess ready salted. I like lightly salted. I'm boring, I know. That should last me. And then... Chocolate. Any chocolate I want. Twix, Yorkies. Oh, I like Yorkies. They're really good. Coffee, toffee crisp. Twix. I miss having recess. Chunky bars. <laughs> I love Kinder Bueno. Oof, Kinder Bueno. Very tempted. Wait. Kit Kat? Maybe I'll just have a Kit Kat. This is a super duper plain one. Ooh, or I can get a chunky one. Chunky one for a pound or this one. It's like it's like they put the four bars into just one bar. <laughs> they just smushed it. I'm just gonna have this. And of course our glorious M&M and lint. The crisis is as bad. At least there's toilet paper. Yeah, things aren't as bad here. I think I need to get spaghetti sauce. I still have to get the raw salmon to cook. Uh, but yeah, other than that, everything seems pretty good here. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know why people are overreacting with bulk buying, but what if... I mean, I don't think the whole city is like that, but what if there are people who are um, quarantining themselves for 14 days? And they're all buying for 14 days and all those people bought out the store because of the 14 days who knows but, um, yeah. there's a lot of good food here like there's these big giant meal things that come in a box seven pounds like sometimes if you don't want to do takeaway sometimes they're on sale too like I've seen this for 450 and it has like chicken korma chicken chicken masala you get your naan you get your basmati rice Got everything, but yeah, I definitely taste around the world. I mean, this is if you're if you can't really cook, but you want to get some good food. I forgot to mention, meat is really cheap here, or very affordable, and everything. There's always a deal. 
always a freaking deal going on. Like three for 10 pounds of whatever you want. You want sausages, you want bacon, you want pork chops. Um, this also includes chicken, if there is any left. <laughs> yeah, they're also not that bad to just buy one and cook it up. Pretty good. And I'm not kind of surprised because today is Sunday and people usually have Sunday roast, which is chicken, gravy, some vegetables, and a Yorkshire pudding. Three for 10 pounds includes lamb. So you got that. And it also includes turkey, but it is all out. But you know what? That means that people are really uh, buying what they need. Okay, I didn't believe it, but pasta is definitely no pasta. <laughs> at least I have pasta at home. I just need the sauce. What kind of sauce? They have the Azabran, which is like 59p. Spicy tomato pepperoni. What do I want? I like things cheesy, but I think I have cheese at home, so maybe I don't need something too crazy. Um, this is spicy. Sun dried tomato pesto, okay. I actually don't mind that. 83p, all the ones that I really like that have mascarpone cheese is all out. So. I actually like this sun dried tomato pesto. I made this once. It was when I was missing the Cheesecake Factory. There is a pasta that's sun dried tomatoes with chicken, I think, on that menu. Well, I wanted the smaller salmon pieces, but they are not available. And it's funny that these salmon come from Norway. That's Norwegian. Norwegian! I guess I will settle for sea bass. I'll try this out. Do it my mom's way of coating it in uh, corn flour. Could it be good? Probably with butter oil. What else do I need? I think maybe vegetables. I have frozen vegetables. Um, and I have frozen fruit. I had to freeze my apples because I wasn't eating them fast enough. Got some grapes. Yeah, prices aren't bad at all. I think blueberries are like... Blueberries and raspberries are really expensive, but bananas are super cheap. I'm sick of bananas, honestly. Watermelon is usually 250 or 275, maybe. Is that where the watermelon usually is? Yeah. <laughs> They're really small. I'm not used to seeing this small, but it's not bad because I don't think I can eat a whole watermelon by myself. Um, cherries. They're really small batches and blueberries for that amount. It is expensive. And then strawberries. They're not even in season. Hmm. I'm gonna go check out and probably have to flash my ID at some point though. Self checkout. Being done. Smile for the camera. Accomplished. But yeah, nothing. Nothing was really sold out except for the, the soap. Very strange. Um, I don't think I get dirty looks here. Not that I know of, but I don't think so. Doesn't bother me. But other than that, I'm happy I have wine. I need to worry about my flight if I can get on. <laughs> we'll see about that. I you guys know what you guys think about the supermarkets in the UK. I didn't get to show like butter or milk. Milk's really cheap too. Um, I think it's like 75 pence depending, you know, the amount, but I think the biggest one is like a pound or a pound 50 and that's like, trust me, it's a lot cheaper than New York and you can get organic and that's even, it's not expensive. But again, I'm like, it's so weird because it, it's like, I come from New York City so things feel cheaper. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting my pizza, I'm gonna preheat the oven for a zip pizza. Let's see. Pizza is not going to be the best pizza in the world, but um, 200 Celsius for gas, 180 for fan oven. This is great that the pizza's hot. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> pizza's so hot. 